hot take this could be the best mmo or rpg mmo rpg or rpg to drop up on roblox bro at least the best game to drop within like the last within like the last year i'd say year anyway i'm gonna be showcasing a little bit of brand outfit to y'all i talked to the creator i'm gonna put his socials the discord everything like that in the comments down below he's actually crazy chill and i'm so glad he let me you know what i'm saying make a little video for his game and whatnot but other than the informational stuff i want y'all to peep these visuals because this is i kid you not no glaze i'm not even overdoing it not even exaggerating the some of the best visuals i've ever seen in roblox bro like hold up look at this look at this so off rip we finish uh, go ahead and show these animations we got the m1s that's pretty cool if i'm not tripping you could actually jump into an m1 like um like that very cool extender we have the dash they're fairly smooth we have a heavy attack in the mechanic we all know and love parrying apart from other and oh no the last thing which is gonna obviously be a crazy cool feature to have i want y'all to really focus on this part this is my favorite thing when i hopped in this game you can't tell me that ain't smooth, bruh. You cannot tell me this does not look smooth now. They got me feeling made evil. They got me wanting to rewatch SAO, if I'm being honest. Those are the, we're going to get over to that later, but first I want to showcase some of the builds. Because I, I do think these builds kind of differ from a lot of the styles that certain Roblox has, certain Roblox games have. Like Deep Book, and they go for a more blocky style. I don't think they use any actual models, if I'm not tripping. A lot of the stuff, well, not like um, structure-wise, I don't think they use any models. I'm pretty sure a lot of the stuff is built in studio at least that's what it looks like but these ones they're they're a lot more um i will say they're a lot more thought through no shade to deep Woken. and we have a working I, I don't think this is a windmill but it's still it's like the little things like this that loki just add up and make the game what it is today i don't know why this dragon is up here like this but he looks raw too i can't lie you can't tell me like the amount of detail they done put into this guy is actually kind of cool well it doesn't look like i can attack while flying yet but stuff like this you know i do appreciate um i can see us doing missions and stuff like that probably picking some wheat perhaps if there is sailing in that in this game then that is going to be a whole new it's not a whole new thing it's going to be a whole different like section to look forward to i will say this is by far the most detailed boat i've ever seen in a roblox so a lot i can i would say that for a lot of these builds in here i'm about to start sounding like a roblox activist if i get too deep into this bro the day i stop seeing these battleground games bro see or seeing more games like this we gonna be up but yeah um apart from that let me go ahead and give y'all a small little showcase of the gy the ui and whatnot so go ahead and just press b and you have this little pop-up that kind of shows you all of your items your skills equipment these are unfortunately locked for me at the moment if the game gets a crazy like test or update you, you know you're gonna see me on that now but for now um you can kind of go look at your items your iron sword says it's already equipped it's a very creative ui um obviously it represents or it's very very similar to the style as sword art online the anime had it the weapons that we know of so far we got the axe magical staff sword cutlass and scythe now do not be fooled again i don't want y'all to expect like there the, like these are some basic you know what i'm saying sword models and whatnot but no they got they get down bro like let, let, let me go ahead and show you let me fly over there for y'all bro here's where i was kind of cheesing when i had first you know what i'm saying come across it obviously this boss right here uh i don't now a lot of these i don't remember from the anime then again it's been like a decade since i've uh watched sword art online however that does not you know despite from the fact that these actually look crazy raw the auras we have in this game the attacks potential charges you know all of it is very nice these effects even i can see this being like a xp or level up event what is this one i just saw immortal object whatever that means this is probably like a little uh enchanting sp enchanting spell that's very cool probably the heal effect right here this looks like some type of gravity move i, I think that's a little oh it is because i i'm being affected by it <laughs> that is very cool as well now this right here looks dope i love the purple and yellow that's getting surrounded by this we have some more fire effects over here as well and i think you guys kind of understand what i was talking about when i was saying the effects in this game the um vfx all of that was very nice and appealing even the uh, monsters like we even have the pig that started on the first episode of sword art online bruh that is dope oh shoot i mean to knock y'all over my fault we have some robots aliens polar bear bears salamanders we even got chickens bruh Ooh, let me let me let me give y'all a little 
showcase on these now. Definitely have a lot more design than what most Marvel X games have out right now. They have a very dope Jester outfit. Like, uh, in terms of um, clothing design, I would actually put that, you know, same tier as Royal Seas. It, it does remind me of that fairly. You can't tell me these are not raw, bruh. Is that the ber the Berserker armor? See, I didn't even know that was up in here, bro. Like I'm saying, I'm genuinely, okay. Let me say, I'm genuinely excited for stuff like this to drop because it's been so long where everybody's just been doing cash grab products. Nobody generally is trying to like upload, you get me? Nobody's trying to put in the work. Now here, here are the weapons. We can see some of the axes right here. They are very nice. You know what I'm saying? You can tell what tiers are which. I, I theorize that there's going to be some type of crafting system for some of this stuff, and I actually kind of hope so as well. Now, these weapons right here, I like that katana. I'm, I have not seen Kirito's blade, but I think I recognize... Oh, nope, here we go right here. That is from Alexization. Is that Megumi's wand or am I tripping? And I think that's Toad... Okay, I don't like how we're touching other animes a little too much now. I ain't gonna lie, but, you know, fingers crossed. Oh, there's there Kirito's blade. Oh, very cool great sword, like a bone sword right here. I feel like we kill a dragon to get those dead drop right there. Very dope, very dope. And it looks like some accessories over here as well, which is very nice. Oh, we even have bows, like accessories for bows as well, arrows. Hold the holders and whatnot for them. Very nice, very nice. Oh, let me go ahead and show you guys the, um, the horse. The horse, right, 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 right. I think the horse is, it's obviously unfinished. But, for what it is right now, it is still very cool. Y'all saw how my boy just spawned in? I'ma name you Percy. The horse animation is also very nice. Ooh, looks like our face changes when we do certain activities too. Like, the amount of immersiveness I'm already getting inside of this game is nice. Now, if, if it was filled with more people, and they refined it more, and they touched it up, I'm gonna be on this for a D- I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be on it longer than I am for a Battlegrounds game, I tell you that much. The comparison really isn't even there, but I'm just saying. The horse control is fairly, um, easy to do. It's a little- it's a little, like, rough, but that's, you know, realistic. We shouldn't be able to make such tight turns with the horse. But the animations on this are also very nice. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to fly and stuff like that as soon as we spawn in-game. But I do feel like that'll be a, um, I feel like it will be like races based on races. Because there was a decent amount in Sword Art from what I remember. And I also feel like this is heavily referenced from the first series of Sword Art Online. Rather than Alexation, um, the War of Underworld, Gungale, and so on. It's still in development, but what they've already shown us has me fairly excited. Off of concepts and, you know, looks alone, I have high hopes for this game. And I do hope it drops around the same time as Rail Seas, honestly. Or at least sometime before or after. Because I feel like this will... Games like Rail Seas, Grand Alfheim, um, that Holy War X game that's dropping pretty soon. As well as the Black Clover one I reacted to a while ago. I feel like those are kind of what's going to bring back the uh, old developing style, the other developing style where people would actually put time into their games and not make these quick cash grabs that I keep going on about. Either way, I am very happy because this game, this project is contributing a decent amount to the cause I am looking into. And if you guys are interested off of what I've shown you already, please do join the Discord. Please do, you know what I'm saying, stay tuned for more content. Stay tuned for more content too. And so on. But uh, yeah, I'll see, oh shoot. I'll see y'all next time, bro. I appreciate you stopping by.